You don't. I don't go to school tomorrow. This is Stephanie Melgoza, an Illinois woman who had been driving under the influence, has just killed two innocent people, and still doesn't realize the damage she's done. Stephanie Melgoza is a student at the private university Bradley who was involved in a deadly DUI crash on April 10, 2022, that led to the tragic death of two people. East Peoria officers were quick to arrive on the scene of the crime without any idea of the kind of criminal they were about to encounter. Come over here with me, ma'am, okay? I called as soon as this happened. I was I just like, this doesn't happen to me. I understand. I go to Bradley, like, why would this happen to me? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna have you do. If you can uh, maybe help Pyro do CPR on that one right now, you tell me, I'm right here. Okay, just hang tight right here. Has anybody gotten all your information? No, no you one has. Um, um, someone, your friend took my license. Do you have a driver's license? Your friend took my license. Okay, um, I'm, just, I'm just going to write it down here. Okay. Just let you know I got body cameras. Every, okay. okay. Stephanie was the one that called the police, and not long after, the police officer saw the aftermath of the crash. He took all of her personal details and asked if she's under the influence of anything. Can you take your purse off and just set that on here? We got him. Yep. Do you have anything illegal on you? Yes, I have marijuana in, in your purse. purse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you had any marijuana tonight? No. Okay. Do you set those on the car for me for me? My vape too. Yep, yep. Okay. Set that down there. And my phone. In your phone? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right. Just come over here. Just put your hands on my car. He's got a pass search before I put you in my car, okay? Okay. No pockets or anything? Oh, no, no. Okay. No right. A few minutes later, the police officer puts Stephanie in the back seat of the car and reads the Miranda rights to her. Then we can see how Stephanie explains the situation to the officer. Explain detail just what happened prior okay. to the accident. I was coming to full throttle and I was almost here as you can see. Were you, were you driving this way or that coming down that coming side road? I was coming here, that? this way. Okay. And suddenly, one person walked out in front of me. Okay. And my car got hit. I called you as soon as they you got hit. You called 911? Yes, I called 911. As soon as something happened. And then someone said, oh, someone else is hit. I'm just like, oh my God, how did that happen? Okay, what so, happened when you hit the one person? What happened? I, I just called you. That's all I know. Okay. I called did, you. Did they fall down right away or did you get out and help them or what happened? I got out, I called you, and then everyone else came out. So I like kind of just let them okay. come and take over the situation. Okay. Um, but I promise you, like, I only know one person got hit. And I'm just like, they came out of nowhere because I am... Safe driver. I get it. After saying that she is a safe driver, the officer then proceeds to question Stephanie further on the details of the accident. If you had to ask me how fast were you going when you hit the person? I would say I was going at least at least 40. At okay. least 40. You think maybe? maybe 40 to 45, but at least 40. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you were going too fast for this area at the time with the darkness? I honestly don't think I was going too fast because I try to be precautionary about where I'm at. Okay. Um, but I just know that someone, one person, came out of nowhere. Did you have your headlights on? Yes, sir. Brights on or just regular headlights? Regular. Okay. Okay. So obviously you saw them. It was no time to react, no time to stop. No time. Okay. That's the word. Okay. Stephanie tells the cop that she did not see the car as it came out of nowhere when she hit it. She then proceeds to show blatant unawareness of the whole situation, mixed with a bit of entitlement as she says that she can decide whether or not to take a DUI test. Over the course of the night, how much have you had to drink? I probably had about three drinks. What's, what's, what is three drinks? You like? Are we talking, what type of drinks? Uh, just vodka. Vodka? Straight vodka or mixed drinks? Uh, vodka and water, so I was staying hydrated, you know, and okay. drinking. Mm -hmm. On a, like uh, right now, if you had me do a test, I think I would pass. Just like, not, don't test me, but I think I would pass. Okay. I'm going to be honest, we're, we are going to do those tests here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because of circumstances, obviously we have to, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, how long ago was your last drink, would you say? Uh, my last drink, I would say about 40 minutes. 40 minutes mm -hmm. ago? Did, were you drinking anything while you are in the vehicle? Or was the last drink at the bar? At the bar. Okay. 
on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least drunk you've ever been, 10 being the most drunk you've ever been, where would you say you put yourself right right now? Five. Five. Because I've been very drunk. And right now, like, I see you, I see everyone, mm -hmm. I know the situation, you know what I mean? Like, I know I'm aware of okay. everything. Having run her ID and license plate, the officer then starts performing the DUI tests on Stephanie. The only thing, however, is that he never expected Stephanie to laugh the whole time. All right, touch the tip of my pen just so you know where you're... There you go. All right. That's what I want you to follow. Nope, keep your head still for me. Oh, my head. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just your eyes. Oh, no, it's we're really gonna try, hard. We're going to try it's that really, again. It's hard. All right. Just, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Your head still for me. It's so hard keeping my head still. Do the best you can. Just follow up your eyes. Are you able to hold your head still without your hands? Okay. All right. Fine, just follow fine, up your eyes. Fine, okay. Fine, okay. Keep following. Keep looking out to the side. There you go. This is called a PVT test. You ever blown one of these before? No. Okay. You know what the legal limit is to drive in Illinois? I do not, sir. Okay, 0 .08, okay? Oh. What I have you do is take a deep breath, a long, hard, steady blow into the straw, just like you're blowing up a balloon. Keep blowing until you hear the machine click, okay? All right. Blowing up a what? Yes, ma'am. Take a deep breath, long, hard, steady blow. A little bit harder for me, a little bit harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. You're a Bradley student. I graduate in four weeks. You're a point two six four, okay? All right. Okay, go ahead and turn around for me and place your hands behind your back. You are under arrest for DUI. Okay. The cop then makes her take a blow test, which Stephanie fails, along with the walk and eye test, showing her blood alcohol level is two times over the allowed limit. She is finally arrested on DUI charges. As she's being arrested, Stephanie laughs again, which shows that she is too drunk to perceive the seriousness of the situation after having killed two people. She even refuses to believe she has killed them. So just so we're clear, I'm going to undo your seatbelt, okay? Oh, sorry. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so you understand what we're going to do? First off, I'm going to let you know the two people. You did hit two people total. I did not. You did. I didn't. Okay, I'm Thank just. You. Okay. However you want to word it to yourself, that's fine. Okay, I'm just telling you, there's two people struck by your vehicle and both mm -hmm. both are dead. I did not hit okay. two people. Okay. Right okay, well, I'm just telling you, the two people that hit Why your car... Why would I call Ma'am, listen, listen. If I... Two people struck your vehicles, I'm telling you, and they're both deceased on scene. I'm just telling you that information, okay? We're going to go in here. We're going to do the thing. I appreciate you being cooperative so far. I'm just telling... i got to tell you what's okay, going on. Okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. Come, all right, I'll come on out here this way. As she's being taken to the hospital for a checkup, Stephanie surprisingly claims to know what she did, but not feeling any remorse about it. If it was two, I'd be crying, you know what I mean? I'd be like, oh my god, I did this. I'd be like, wow, this made it worse, but I know what I did. Okay. If that wasn't enough disrespect and disregard over the people she had just killed, what follows will make this idea a lot more clear to anyone who still has doubts. I'm going to go to Vegas. I'm going to take you to Vegas. It's going to be so fun. I'm going to spend at least $500. <laughs> I'm going to start off with <laughs> two Long Island. <laughs> yes. You ever had enough of drinking already? We're talking about Vegas. Oh. There's no limit at Vegas, right? Have you been there? I swear to God, if you're right now, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie has the nerve to ask the officer for more drinks and even starts to sing and laugh, not being bothered in the least bit about her arrest or the people she killed. Make sure that you go to your mansion. Yes, 
Stephanie then proceeds to actually show some concern. However, it's for the fact that she might not get her car back, which she needs to drive to school tomorrow. Oh, hey, you never answered me about my car. Like, I school tomorrow, so how do I get my car for tomorrow? Yeah. Well, your car is totaled. It's what? Your car is totaled. Total, total? Total, wrecked. Okay, so how do I get your school You don't. So, I don't go to school tomorrow, is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond, you are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that, clearly. I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you... You said I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right. when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told that you killed two people tonight? Yes. I'm just wondering when I can go to school. Okay, we're done. You're all on body camera being completely careless about killing two people tonight. You could care less. That's sad and pathetic and horrible all at the same time. Can you say that as a cop? Yes, ma'am, I can. Okay, so can I ask where I can go back to school? At this point, the officer has had enough of Stephanie fooling around. Stephanie Melgoza was arrested and she pleaded guilty to two counts of aggravated DUI death and two counts of aggravated reckless driving. She was finally sentenced to 14 years in prison, a sentence that a lot of you guys would probably think is way too little. If you like this video, watch this one. Goodbye.